Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue my look about the little things you can do with your Synology NAS. Today I want to talk about how to download torrents to your Synology NAS. Right, first and foremost guys, don't do this to do dodgy stuff please. There are so many things you can do with a NAS and using it as a centralised download server is incredibly appealing but so many people take for granted this great system and then use it to do dodgy, dodgy things, illegal, copyright infringing things which then result in everything being spoiled for everyone else. So do if you are going to use this guide, keep it legit guys. Today for this video we are going to be using the Internet Archive which to me is one of the best places on the entire internet to get some real fantastic files for you to download and if you're someone that likes to make your way through historical data and particularly historical movies and historical footage this will be very very appealing to you. So if you've never heard of archive.org before today you've probably heard of Wayback Time Machine it's part of it then this video will be of help too. So. First things first, we need to go on our Synology NAS to Download Station, that one we used in the podcast video. If you don't already have it, it's available for free in the Download Package Center. Once you've got Download Station open, you've got it here on your screen, you can get ready to download files from the Internet Archive or other legal torrents if you so choose. So if we make our way back over here, and we can have a look at the Internet Archive. So what we'll do is we're going to select some video, I think, and we're going to go. We're going to download a video from the Internet Archive as a torrent. If you want to download a torrent, first things first, let's go for you know the classic. Because I'll be honest, if you are looking at movies on the Internet Archive, I definitely recommend horror films. They have got some incredible horror films logged and saved away in their databases, available completely for free. So. If we have a look at, how about A Bucket of Blood? I don't know what this is. It's a sci-fi horror film. Um, we can stream it if we so choose, but if we want to have our own copy of this, what we need to do is scroll on down here on the right-hand side where you've got download options. You have all of these different kinds of files. If you just want the audio, it's there. And if you want to download this torrent, or indeed any torrent, what you need to do is right-click and copy that link address. That will give you either a link to the torrent file or the actual information in that torrent package. Now there's two ways to do this. We could have downloaded that file, which we can do here. We'll get that torrent downloaded. We didn't have to do that, but I'll show you why that might be relevant later. If we make our way back to the Synology, bring download station open. What we need to do is go to the top here where the plus symbol is. We click plus and then either we can uh, select where we want it to go. Say if it was video, for example. We can either browse and find that file that we just downloaded, if we so chose, or if we go to enter URL, and again, select the file we want it to go in, video. From here, we can paste that URL where the torrent file was found. Then, from here, we can ask it to authenticate the location if we're using that kind of file. But mainly, what we can do now is click OK. It will prepare the file. And it will tell us by downloading this torrent, these are all of the files that we are going to download. We can choose not to download any of them if we want. We can download just that file if we so choose. Or we can download all of them. But again, we're going to go for all for now, just for ease. And then from here, again, click through, click through. It's going to go, it's 2.18 uh, gig when it's completed. And we can click create. This will now add the downloading of this film from when was the film released? Let's get the information there. Give it its due. This film here is going to be downloaded onto our QNAP, uh, our Synology NAS even. I haven't got any of the information here. The usage is public domain. It's got all the information there we need. And if we look back at our Synology NAS, we are now downloading this file onto our NAS. Now the speed at which you get will differ obviously according to uh, if you're using a torrent system there's stuff like peers and that to bear in mind but ultimately the speed you get will also be largely dictated by your own internet speeds once it's completed it will be moved to here where it will also be shared by other users in a peer-to-peer -peer network if you don't want to share it you can always right click and remove it so in the case of this i'm going to stop this early 
We can right click that and we can end it or we can completely remove it. If we end it, it will just cease it. If we remove it, it removes it from the task list. So if we want to remove this download task, it removes it completely and there you go. Now, there are loads of files on the Internet Archive for you to look at and I do heartily recommend you give them a good look. But that has been how to download a torrent onto your Synology NAS. You can download all manner of files and folders and more and more and I'll go through those closer as we go through these videos in the coming weeks. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.